Welcome! This is episode 6 and we're going to talk about stress. If my voice does not stress you out, it's a good thing. Yeah, nothing else will, <laughs> for sure. This is Ruben and I'm Aram. And Ruben. Yes. I mean, I, I, I personally think that's a huge one another one. So if we, if we do a couple of parts to this one, it will and we'll cover it with like uh, 30 minutes, I think it will be good. It will we'll be try to go good. slower. Mm -hmm and not over providing information about yeah. stress uh -huh. uh, but ultimately let's let's talk about it is stress evil or not no stress is not evil stress is just a process of of of, of, of growth okay so i personally stre think stress you wouldn't be for stress there would be no progress no good no, no, like uh, you have to have a, a stress to be able to get up and start walking as a child you yes. have to have certain stress to want to do things. Yep. You needed to have some difficulties in life so you can go start working. Yes. Uh, you have to go through college and learn some things. So you need to be, uh, you know, go and study. Yeah. All those things are stressful. They are, but they at the same time, you know, uh, I recently read in a book, you know, that uh, the stress is like a form of a small crisis. Mm -hmm. And crisis, crisis opens the doors. One to danger and another one to opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's how we grow. That's if we didn't have a stress in our, in our relationships with, you know, with our significant others, then how will we learn to communicate better? You couldn't. Sure. If we didn't have a stress you know, with, you know, with you know, movement, why would, it, you know, why would we challenge to run faster or to reach faster so we can... You know, so I absolutely agree. Yeah. The thing is, the stress can be dangerous also, and we would want to make sure that the things that you do with your life <clears throat> are at least balanced out with yeah. the good things that it's again a gain, a drain, stress or overstress in your life yeah. can be extremely draining. Yeah. As a matter of fact, what do you think root root cause of most of the problems? Too much stress. Too much stress. Or or you know, yeah, you know, throwing your body out of balance or creating the environment that is more negative than positive towards, yeah. towards growth and So stress again, Peter totter stress can be positive, can be negative. Yeah, for sure. Unfortunately, in today's society, stress a lot of times can be negative. For the most part. For the most part. Yeah. So let's cover uh, um, a kinds of stress. So yeah. we, when say stress, we always perceive as mental. Yes. So yeah, so like, like I stressed out about my wife and my, my boyfriend, whatever, yeah. uh, work and yeah. money, financial situation, all these things. Yes. Is that the only stress that we get under? For sure not. I mean, okay. every aspect of our being has is going to be stressed in one way or another. Okay. So if we find a happy medium, we can actually thrive and do well. So, so let's do six, six uh, different stressors, yeah? First one. Uh, according to Paul Chak, yeah. which is... Uh, He's a founder of Czech Institute, and we study a lot. We're both Czech practitioners. Yeah. Get his book one day, How Do We Move and Be Healthy. Excellent book. Uh, so he talks about six very specific stressors. Okay. Physical, number one. Physical. Then we have mental. Mental, for sure. So physical, mental. Then we have electromagnetic. We talked about that in our previous, uh, in our previous episode of sleep. A little bit, yeah. Sleep. sleep. Space. Then we have nutrition. Absolutely. We talked about nutrition episode number three, part mm -hmm. one, part two. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have a chemical stress. That's correct. And the last one will be a thermal stress. Thermal stress thermal. is huge. Thermal stress. Especially for us out here. It yeah. is huge. We're yeah. under a lot of thermal stress right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In so, Miami. <clears throat> so let's cover a little bit in detail each one. Yeah. Physical stress. We have. Oh, oh let's do it like this. Can we do it like this? Let, let, you want. Let's talk about just the general work. So you show me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <how I'm sure. laughs> All right, guys. This is how we're going to do it. We're just going to describe a regular stress that stress was designed to save your life. That's for sure. Yeah? Yeah. So the bottom line, stress is there to save you. Yes. Or me. <laughs> or me. Or him. Yeah. What happened back in the day? So you're walking around the jungle and all of a sudden a lion attacks you. Anything could attack you, basically. Anything can attack you. Right. Uh, you design to either fight that enemy or run from that enemy. Yeah, fight or flight. Fight or flight, sympathetic yeah. response. Yeah? That's correct, yes. Now, body operates in very specific ways mm -hmm. 
to save you. You become a machine. Forget about what you think. Yeah. You're gonna, in within the seconds, decide if you can fight this thing or you're gonna overrun that thing. Yeah. You're gonna find a way out. You don't even really have to think about it. Your body thinks about it. Well, the fight or flight is part of the autonomic, which means automatic nervous system. You just happens. so don't be afraid if you start running. <laughs> I've done it many times. <laughs> All right. I've fought a few times too. Yeah. <laughs> um, more often than not. So what happens is. When you get attacked, your body thinks in priorities. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What it is important for this particular minute. Right. Your body doesn't care if you're gonna die in 20 years. Nope. Your body only cares about this particular minute. Yep. So what systems are working harder? Are you gonna breathe harder? Yeah. So you want oxygen to get to the muscle so you can fight or flight either way mm -hmm. so you need a lot more oxygen and you're gonna start inhaling more oxygen so your respiratory system goes up it gets um up so the respiration rate increases respiration rate increases mm -hmm. now you gotta get the blood to the muscles faster exactly so what are your body gonna do with the arteries they're gonna constrict constrict think of like a uh, a garden hose. If you put a finger on a garden hose, it's the water going to shoot up faster, yeah? So it increases the pressure. Mm -hmm. Always thinks of a high blood pressure. Yeah. High blood pressure is a good sign of stress, yeah. stress. stress response, yeah? yeah. Uh, what else thing you think? Uh, anybody ever been in an extremely stressful situation where you're about to lose your life? Accident, yeah. and the thing, <laughs> yeah. What kind of details yeah. do you remember about it? Uh, quite a lot. In, in a sense, you know, uh, well... Do you remember what happened five minutes ago in details? Uh, no, nah, not really. Okay, but not in that... that the, mirror, the, the, the mind narrows down to, to a focal point. Yeah, because you want to get out of there. Yes. A little thing can make a huge difference. That's right. You're so you're going to notice game. things mm -hmm. that you generally don't notice in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So that, it basically, your body makes you hide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why people love stress. They say, oh, I live on stress. No, oh. you abuse stress. Or oh, they're adrenaline junkies. But that's, oh, they're adrenal junkies. That's, that's maybe yeah. another episode. Yeah. Anyway, so those, I think there's three big things that are important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you start re uh, constricting your blood vessels. So high blood pressure. You're going to have a high respiration. So you might have inverted breathing pattern or chest breathing. Because you're trying to go up as much air as you can. That's right. And you're going to be highly aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Now, some things are absolutely not important in this particular minute. No, they're not. What are they? Digestion. So, let's say you just had a lunch and somebody want to have you for lunch. That's right. How important for you? <laughs> no. For them, that it's important that you're not going to get rid of lunch. Yeah. <laughs> For you, chances are it's important to dump that lunch because it takes energy to get energy out of whatever food that you just had. Simply in the process of digestion, all the blood accumulates around the organs to mm -hmm. facilitate digestion. And if you have to shift really, really fast from that parasympathetic, you know, aspect, which is digestion, you have to shift really, really quick to sympathetic, which is fight or flight. The body will have to make a, a, a very quick transition to take all that blood away from, from your stomach and intestines and bring it right into the onto your limbs so you can either fight or flight. I played soccer again. I think I mentioned in the last episode. I think you and mentioned it. <laughs> I'm not that good of a soccer player, honestly. I'm just trying to hype myself up. Uh, anyway, but uh, when you play soccer, when I play soccer, a lot of times just before the match, there's a line to the restroom. Uh huh. <laughs> Soccer players get scared before the soccer game. Especially if they play against them. <laughs> <laughs> if they know how they play, they're generally scared. But what happens is they want to get rid of. So a lot of times you want to, you kind of like almost have a diarrhea. You got, you're going to have a bowel movement or you would want to.